everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the body products that I'm loving right now, what I'm reaching for, what are like staples for me. Uh, some things I'll be testing as it gets closer to fall, but I just wanted to put them on your radar. Um, and when I talk about them, you'll understand why I'm testing them closer to fall. All right, let's get started. Body wash wise, um, I'm out of my Dove. So I will link that below. I love the Dove Nourishing Body Wash, that really like creamy, milky one. I've been using that for 10 years, at least. It's always a staple. Um, I have other body washes, so I just haven't repurchased that yet, but I plan to, I always go back to it. I like, I like to rotate. The Mario Badescu Rose Body Soap, I believe this is either eight or $10. It is is so amazing. The scent is a really nice rose. It's not too floral, it's not too powdery. It's like a nice, sweeter rose. I don't know, it's very pleasant because I'm not a typical rose fan. I know some of you have purchased this and the feedback has been like, that's amazing for $10 or $8 maybe. Um, the Necessaire uh, body wash, I love to go back to this. I rotate between the scents like the eucalyptus, the sandalwood. What's the other scent? I never get the unscented. I like a scented body wash. I like to have a little something. And this with the body lotion is part of the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale set. So actually I replenished um, during the sale. Oh, speaking of the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, I don't plan on doing a video this year. I did a ton of content on my blog and on Instagram. And I just felt like it was like going to be redundant because I tried on everything. I linked everything. I talked about sizing in Instagram and then also on my blog. So I'll go ahead and link all my posts down below. I did like a shopping guide, picks from every category, my haul, my previous outfits that I have that I love that are back um, this year. And like I said, there's two highlights on my Insta stories with a lot of my try-ons. So um, if you don't see a video for me on the end sale, that's why. But this set is fantastic. I love, love, love the Necessaire Body Lotion. Um, it's also really great to mix with my Tan Luxe Gradual. Um, I, this is the body, the um, self-tanner that I use, that I love. I tried a bunch of Tan Luxe products and I really gravitated towards this one. It is, Easy enough to not have to mix with anything. So that's my tip when it comes to self-tanning. I always mix my self-tanner with a body lotion. So it thins it out, it makes it less intense, but I get no streaks. And if I do get any streaks or anything, it is so slight and minimal, it is barely noticeable. It just takes me a few extra applications to kind of build up to like a really bronzy look, even though I never get like a real bronzy, bronzy look. I just, it's always like just a subtle glow for me. But um, I love the Gradual from Tan Lux and I mix it with my Necessaire Body Lotion. This is a great body lotion to mix with any of your self -tanner. A body scrub that I love, I finished my Herbivore Cocoa Rose Body Polish, which is so fantastic. The reviews were really mixed, which I was surprised about because it is lovely. It's not really oily and doesn't like make your shower a complete danger zone afterwards. So I really love that. The L'Occitane Almond Paste is fantastic. It's really creamy. And I mean, it's a body exfoliator, but it's very, very creamy. So it nourishes your skin while giving you an exfoliation as well. Um, you know what? I really wanna try the Necessaire Exfoliator. I think I'll try that next. Um, because I used to love the fresh brown sugar. Do you guys remember that? It's still around and I love that. But let me tell you, if someone takes a shower after you and you don't tell them about it, they are going to the emergency room ASAP because they will fall. It literally makes your shower just a slick zone. And it's lovely because the oils in it make your skin amazing but you have got to rinse that shower afterwards. And I loved how my skin felt, but it was such a pain getting all the oils out that I was like, mm, I think I'll, I think I'll try some other things. Body lotion wise, I love the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. 
the entire L'Occitane almond line, milk concentrate, the scrub, the paste, the shower oil, the body oil, the entire line is perfection. I mean, I've been talking about it for ever. Um, in fact, the shower oil is part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They have like a huge refill that comes with it. It's lovely. It turns into like this like milky texture. It starts as an oil and turns into a milk when you add water. It's lovely. The entire line, splurge on it, treat yourself. Uh, it definitely is worth it. Um, I haven't opened this yet because I just, this is a new one, but I've already finished a ton. The Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from um, Sol Janeiro. It's great. It's very firming. That's what I really love about it. It soaks in immediately, but it's really firming. And my skin looks very taut, firm, hydrated when using this. And it smells like a vacation. It's, that's, I mean, that's why everyone gravitates towards it because the smell is amazing, but it makes your skin very, very firm. You know, I pulled this out and then, I then I've been using it for a few weeks and then I noticed it was in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale and I was like, huh, I've never seen that before in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. The Origins Ginger Souffle. So their whipped body creams are so lovely. I had like a mint one that I finished, which is really nice. And the Ginger Souffle smells like ginger and it's, it's lovely. Um, the texture is whipped, but it's like a whipped gel. So it's not super rich, but it is, um, I don't know. I, I, I ha I've had it for a while and I finally pulled it out to use it. I was like, oh, I forgot how much I loved it. I used the Origins body products years and years ago and I haven't used them in a while. So I was really excited to uh, pull this back out again. This body cream is scented. I only typically use it in the winter but the scent is one of my favorites, uh, the Midnight Floor by Nest. If you've been following me since the beginning, you know that Nest Midnight Floor has always been, it's a fragrance that I discovered at the beginning of my blogging years, and it's so unique, it's so different. It is not a scent for the summer or the spring. It is a scent for like fall and winter because it's very rich, it's very heavy, but the body cream is decadent. I am talking just a little bit of this and the scent is very strong. It's just a very pampering product. If you like scented body cream, maybe you don't like to wear perfume, but you more like a, a scent in your body cream. And um, this is lovely. The texture is unbelievable. I really wish that texture cream like came in other body lotions. So they really nailed it on that uh, body cream. Two splurge worthy ones that I have really been enjoying. The Black Rose Beautifying Emulsion from Sicily and then the Velvet Nourishing Body Cream. Now the difference between these, this is, it says like a hydrating satin body veil. So it's more of like a lightweight gel cream um, and it just kind of glides right on, very hydrating. Now this, the Velvet Nourishing Body Cream, is just that, it is very velvety, it is thick, it is nourishing. I love that both absorb well into the skin. This is great for the cooler or warmer months, and I love this in the winter. It takes down like dryness, itchiness, uncomfortable skin instantly. I really have been enjoying those two. And then the last ones are ones that I plan to test in the fall because I don't like to use a lot of like exfoliating body products in the summer because I'm out in the sun more and why would I do that? Like I want to exfoliate, no. Um, so Pharmacy came out with their Honeymoon Glow Body Serum, which listen, as soon as fall hits, I am going to be testing this out because I love the Honeymoon Glow Face Serum. And this is a 12% AHA and BHA resurfacing serum for the body. Yes. Pixie came out with an entire glycolic body line. So there's a body wash, a body polish, and a body lotion. And like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna test this come the fall because that's when I really like to go hard on like exfoliating and acids and everything, my face, my body, because I'm like covered up then. And from First Aid Beauty, the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub and Body Lotion. So if you suffer from keratosis pilaris, you know those bumps you get sometimes on your legs or in the back of your arms? This is supposed to treat it. I've heard amazing things about this. It is safe enough for sensitive skin. 
So um, I haven't had those in a really long time. I used to get it really bad back in the day and I just never knew what I could use to treat it. Uh, so I'm so glad that they came out with this because I've heard really great things. And um, that's it. Those are all the body products that I'm currently using. I mean, I always have like other body products that I'm like testing or whatnot, but these are what's on rotation. And a lot of this stuff is stuff that I repurchase, I replenish. Some of these things, I like the Loxiton, the Midnight Floor, I've been using for years and years and years and years and years. This is the newest um, discovery for me, the Mara Badescu Rose Body Soap that I will probably be talking about for the next many, many years to come. It is that great, the $8. Um, and that's it. I'll link everything I talked about down below, as well as all of my Nordstrom anniversary sale content. So if you want to see what I purchased, try-ons, all that sort of thing, I will link, I have a tab and you can just like scroll through everything on my blog and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.